Welcome, welcome to all of our base camp attendees or who are people who are planning to come to base camp. I know animal chiropractors look forward to base camp. We can do without those because yeah. it's a time to really make some community to get together to start working on their practice. And we're excited that this year we're going to have with us Dr. Leslie Mosier, who will be speaking for her second time at base camp. And we love having Dr. Mosier back because she is such an excellent example of an animal chiropractor who has really embraced the, the philosophy and the uh, idea of animal chiropractic and then used it in her practice to make some big jumps. Thanks, Dr. Mosier, for meeting with me today. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Amy, and thank you for having me again um, for 2024 Base Camp. I'm excited to be there. We can't wait. We are looking forward to you, the, the things that you'll be able to share with the people who attend Base Camp so that they can grow their practices. So tell me a little bit about what's going through your mind and what you're planning to talk about for Base Camp. What, what do people have to look forward to? What are they going to what kind of message are they going to learn? Um, so I loved base camp last year. Um, so I'm super excited to come back again this year. Um, and as far as what I have to offer for base camp this year, um, I'm really going to be talking about um, the um, community. Um, and that's a very broad term, um, but we're going to get into that um, in my session. Um, but we're really going to go over how um, to find the type of community that you want to grow, um, not only yourself, but your business, find your right clients and make sure that you guys are um, on the same page and you're growing and developing the way that you guys want to. Um, and this was... Uh, a big journey for me and it's still a journey. Um, so it's ever changing and evolving. So as I grow and move on, um, you guys have helped me with that through the chiropractic stuff and now implementing that into different business aspects um, of my professional life um, and my personal life as well. So I'm super excited about that and I can't wait to share that with you guys and you can um, you know, join me on this journey as we go through together. Well, thank you. I we're looking forward to it. Tell me this: what was probably the hardest struggle for you that you've that you've had to overcome? Um, I'd say when I first started animal chiropractic back in, oh gosh, when was that? Was that twenty twenty two, twenty twenty one, somewhere like that? Uh, a while, a while ago. Um. I was very excited about what I had to offer with these new magic hands, as I like to call them, um, and um, started seeing improvements just that as a veterinarian wasn't quite feasible for me. Um, so having this extra tool that's kind of a, you know, uh, an extra way to help these animals um, and then going home and starting to implement that in my practice and then having a lot of disconnect with the owners. Um, that was something that was very hard for me because I, I knew I could offer this. I knew I could make improvements, but I just kept hitting a brick wall. Um, so instead of continuing to fight that battle, I have since moved locations um, into a different area, uh, relocated to the state of Florida. Um, and I've been having a lot more success, a lot more open-mindedness, um, a lot more people willing to, um, let me do what I know I can do with animal chiropractic. So that was a very hard decision to make. It took about a year, um, before I finally committed to that, but, uh, we're two years in now and absolutely loving it. That's great to hear. So, you, so it sounds like animal chiropractic helped you through that struggle. Yes, it definitely did. Help to smooth things out a little bit. Yes. We're really <laughs> looking forward to hearing more about what you have to share with our animal chiropractic community about helping them, you know, overcome some of those struggles. And I think sometimes our doctors, one of their, one of their biggest hurdles is creating a practice that's big enough for them. 
um, it's it's easy to want to be the solo practitioner. I think I don't know. Not everybody thinks that, and yet sometimes when you want to be that solo person, because you know, then you get to make all the rules. Sometimes I think it's harder to realize you need a team. How would you think about that or what, how would that fit into your conversation? Yeah, it's definitely something that as um, a solo practitioner for eight, nine years, um, that was something that was very hard for me um, to realize until I started doing some of the stuff with you guys and some of the coaching and that kind of stuff. Um, and now that I am where I am and I have the team that I have and have finally found the correct team um, that I want to be working with, um, we're just moving at, a, you know, a much faster pace and growing things um, and moving at just exponentially. So I don't feel like a snail anymore. So it is it is hard, um, but I will say um, it has been good for me. Awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Well, we're really looking forward to having you on the stage at base camp on Friday, actually, the first day of base camp to help us open up some information for these animal chiropractors and get them moving and thinking and getting their little creative juices churning so that they can begin to think about how to bring that practice up to the level that is that they're worthy of right yeah well thanks so much for taking some time today i know you've got a busy day you've got a busy schedule and i'm so glad that you took a little bit of time to talk with us and to help get the word out there to animal chiropractors about what you're going to be able to do with us at base camp and what they'll be able to do at base camp yep. so for those of you who haven't registered for base camp yet it's a really good idea to get the, get out there soon and get registered. Early bird ends September 11th. That means the best prices are right now. If you wanna get your CE, if you wanna get it locked in for the rest of the year and have some big take home things that you can implement immediately in your practice, register today at animalcarepracticeducation.com. And you'll get to see Dr. Mosier in real live action because she is a fireball. Don't think that she's this calm and quiet all the time. We'll see you then. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.